What's up, low heat fam? Back with some more low heat. And this, these, I'd say definitely, definitely in the low heat category, the channel's namesake. I'm low heat fancy pants. I, I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm uh, I, I'm fancy pants because that was my gamer tag, both back in the day and currently. So, um, and it kind of fits with styling and stuff, you know. I like fancy footwork, fancy footwear. I like bright colors. Um, so, anyways, anyways, this <coughs> definitely some low heat because this isn't just um, general retail. This is sold out, but very affordable on the secondary market. Not super sought after. Shout out to Juice. I hit on the Juice Store raffle here in LA, or online, I should say. Uh, the Juice Store USA online raffle. And um, <clears throat> I've hit on Juice before for also another pair of Sakai's, the Sakai LD Waffle Nylons in white. I hit on the Juice Store um, so shout out to them. This is my second, uh, raffle win with them. And it's another pair of Sakai's. So I got these in size 12. I went a little ha a half size up. They retail for 120. And in this size, at least, um, <coughs> pardon me, the cough. Um, in this size, at least you can get these, um, uh, for around, um, just a little bit over 120 bucks. And plus taxes, fees, shipping, you know, it's probably going to run you one 150, but you know, that's not too bad over retail. I mean, even even with taxes and shipping on a retail pair, that's like 135 or whatever. At least that's what I paid um, retail. So uh, Sky always does these boxes. I don't know if you've ever got a pair, but uh, the boxage, the boxage, the box packaging is always a little bit more um, robust, a little bit more premium. So um, there's that. You got the Sakai branded paper, tissue paper, and woo. Okay, okay. I almost talked through the unveiling, but these got my attention. Shut me right up. These <clears throat> are interesting. So I, in the past, I hit on the Sakai Blazers, the white wolf gray, I think undefeated. I hit on an undefeated raffle um, of those. And they're the full, you know, mids or high top, uh, blazers. Those don't go for a ton. They've creeped up over time just because dead stock pairs have become a little more scarce, but, uh, they don't go, they didn't go for a ton when they dropped and they don't go for a ton now. So I have had a pair of these in hand, but I, I sold those, never wore them, sold them dead stock. Um, so I think cool kicks here in LA. Um, but these are definitely different. So those ones, uh, if you know or have had them or, or, or looked at them when they came out, uh, the high tops, they were all leather. This is a short haired suede right here. So that's the main difference. And online, these look darker. Um, so I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but online, these looked almost like black. And I kept wondering if the color, um, the colorway description was gray. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Iron gray. Iron gray. And, um, and online, these look like basically black. So this is definitely gray, though. You tell? Um, it's a, yeah. So really interesting with the mixing up of materials. It's not all the all this smooth leather like the other ones were. Um, I just, I like the other ones, but just not enough. I mean, the heel, which is kind of their signature, it's kind of signatures, this, the, like these multiple, multiple layer heels and the multiple layers of materials. You got the double tongue that's kind of, and double laces, that's their thing. Um, but I just, uh, on those, didn't love them enough to keep them and wanted to make room. These, I really like. I don't know if I can resell these because, um, you know, there's just not much to make. So if I can maybe get retail back for these, I'll consider it. But I do like these. So let's uh, give the other pair a look. Make sure they're the same. Uh, you get an alternate pair of laces here. So you get the double laces here with, you know, the stitch weaving on the ones that are pre-laced. And then uh, the alternate pair is this more tubed a, two, a thick tube lacing. So that's interesting. I wonder how these would look um, with these laced up. Because I do like, I mean, obviously the double lacing is a unique look. Um, so, I mean, that's 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 dope and all, but uh, I wonder how they would look with these. Uh, I do like this double tongue, definitely unique. Uh, you got Sakai on the back and Nike Sportswear on the front. Um, what I would say is, that, so 
there's going to be a cause collab coming out soon. Uh, three-way collabs are the thing nowadays, apparently. Uh, Nike, uh, Sakai, and cause. It's going to be a similar silhouette with a cut-off um, ankle and exposed foam, I think. Uh, definitely cut-off ankle uh, or like essentially a low or a mid, a low mid. Um, those will definitely go for sellout and go for above retail. Um, but so you're probably going to strike out on those. If you really like these though, and are you, you're holding out to try to hit on those cause ones, probably your chances are low. I like the blue cause ones. The maroon ones are like, meh, but I like the blue ones. Definitely will try. But you know, if you catch an L, definitely look into these. I like these. Uh, they're affordable. I like the tan ones too, uh, that are dropping soon. Uh, but yeah, so don't, you know, hope is not lost if you strike out on the cause ones, which you probably will. Let's put on these, see how they look on foot. Uh, right now I'm wearing some other blazers. I'm wearing the Stranger Things blazers. This is the ugliest look ever, isn't it? White, white tube Nike socks with these kind of dirtied uh, blazers. I've thought about kind of like peeling off the outer layer on these, but um, just haven't yet. Quick, uh, just want to point out on these. These have so many details. I didn't do an unboxing video of these because I've... Um, you know, I've had these for a while prior to my channel. Um, uh, shout out to my brother and his wife who got me these uh, for my birthday. But these have so many details on these things, on these, uh, and the box, the packaging. So uh, these are definitely affordable. So get yourself a pair of Stranger Things, any any of the silhouettes, just crazy details on these. So I dig them. Um, <clears throat> speaking of my channel. I'm almost at 500 subscribers and I got a ton of videos coming up. So it would be really dope if I could get to 500 subscribers by uh, September. I started this channel almost a year ago, almost at 500 subscribers. Appreciate everyone who's been watching, following, liking, commenting, and especially you subscribers and return viewers. So thanks for that. Um, but yeah, I'd love to get to 500 by September. Once I get to 500, might show off some of my shoe collection if anyone's interested in in that. So that might be a 500 subscriber uh, video to make. All right, let's see if we can get these on. Blazers for me always run a tad small. They're a narrow shoe. Uh, let's see if I can do this without kicking off the, the camera phone. Um, blazers to me always are a little thinner. So I always go a half size up just for ease of getting in. It's not so much like the comfort per se, but just the ease of getting these these Johnson's on. Um, I always have to really widen them up. Uh, those, the uh, Stranger Things, I got true to size and they fit fine. It's just I really have to loosen the laces to get on. And um, yeah, they're not tight, but they're definitely like, they're, they're not loose. They're like exact fitting. So these, just like I said, a little difficult to get on, but since I got a half size up, um, they're plenty of room, not loose, but plenty of room, comfortable inside. But yeah, I just go half size up to make these easier to get on and make sure they're not too snug. That's just me though. Some people like snug fits. You do you, man. And to be honest, these look more dope on foot. Am I wrong? These look kind of fire. Like I just went, I went three levels with these. I went three, uh, I don't know how I'm going to lace these. I got I to gotta tighten them up. I went three levels with these. At first, when I was getting these, I hit on these. I was like, okay, I'll do an unboxing video. We'll look at reselling them, uh, get my money back at least, maybe make <laughs> five whole dollars, but just some content for the channel. I'm interested. And, and then I opened these right here before you eight minutes ago. I was like, oh, these are like, it's kind of fire. And then I put these on now and I'm like, these are legit fire. It's not kind of fire. All right, this is a terrible lacing job. Rate my lace job in one to 10 in the comments. That's your comment of the day. How piss poor is that? But low key, these are kind of fire, right? Even with the white tube, Nike tube socks. I am, I'm, I'm vibing with these. Might keep these. Not just because I can't resell them. I might keep these. I think these are dope. Sorry, knees in the way. I can't give you a more full on foot view, but I like, I think, I think what it is, is the high tongue. It's the low ankle collar and the high tongue. Now, any of you asking, are these comfortable? Like, I mean, they're, they're, they're blazers. They're like really flat. Like if you have high arches, 
these aren't going to be comfortable. Like, I don't know what we're talking about if we're talking about comfort. But as far as on-foot looks go, I think these, these are money. Like, you never see a, a shoe like that, ever. And these aren't even bright, bright colors. They're wild, and these are gray and white. Anyways, I'm kind of vibing with these. Uh, might keep these. I mean, that's just... I don't know how better to say it. That's an, that's an interesting as fuck shoe. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments if uh, if I'm off my block here. But I think these are dope. Let's uh, let's start doing a rating system, right? Should we start doing that? Just for like more context. Um, shout out to Fomer Simpson and his channel. They always do a rating system. I think that's a good way to top off a video. So I don't want to like. On one hand, I don't want to steal his his vibe, his steez, but on the other hand, it's a good you know one out of ten is I mean one to ten that's a good rating scale. And then like you know people who watch uh, my video and his obviously has a much bigger viewership you know can like then compare into the two. So I could do a different rating scale, but then it's like hard to compare, right? Or I could do the same rating scale and then it's like oh you're just copying. So I, let me know your thoughts on that too in the in 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 the comments if, I, if I'm allowed to do that. But let's go with one to 10. That's kind of universal. He doesn't got a copyright on that. Uh, one to 10, I, I'm on the internet, I was giving these like a six and a half. Out of the package, I was giving these a seven. On foot, I think these get a seven and a half. Kind of dope, very keepable, very wearable. All right, I'll be back with more videos soon. Uh, subscribe, comment, be much appreciated.